Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the new um, iPod firmware 3.0 Beta 3. Now, um, it's a Beta 3 because Apple have released uh, three versions of it. And um, Beta 1, uh, you could not jailbreak that. Beta 2, you could. And um, Beta 3, which is their latest one, um, you can again. So today I'm going to be showing you how. Now, um, this is going to be my first Windows tutorial. Um, you may have noticed that from the name. And um, you may be thinking, well, you're on a Mac at the moment. Well, uh, I'm going to be using a uh, screen remote connection. Um, so here we are. This is my Windows uh, Vista desktop computer. It's actually downstairs, completely different to where I am. But um, yes, I'm going to be uh, using this computer and um, I'll just talk you through the screen series so here we have um, iTunes with my iPod plugged in and uh, this is my uh, iPod at what it looks like now so um, at the moment the screen's black blank it's locked um, I'm using a, a quick cam um, to view that so um, next is what you're going to need to do is download um, some files and firmwares from the description in the right so um, the first one is an iPod 3.0 beta 3 firmware and um, you're also going to need to download QuickPwn so um, go ahead and plug your iPod in and uh, download the firmwares and then I think we are uh, ready to go so um, let's go ahead and get started okay so um, you're going to need to extract the um, QuickPwn folder that you downloaded from uh, RapidShare, I think. And uh, it may just be a pineapple or it may be a folder. Mine turned out as a folder, I'm not sure why, but um, you're going to double click this. And um, that's what may, yours may look like on the desktop already. But um, for some reason, mine was in a folder with a lot of, a load of other old uh, things that I don't understand. But. Um, Anyway, I'm going to click Quick Pwn, and then we're going to hit Run. And uh, let me just close out of this so it doesn't get too busy. So here we go, Quick Pwn. And um, this was uh, modded by uh, a Russian developer, I think. And uh, it says iPhone Dev Team and Poor Lad. Now um, this was never released by um, the iPhone Dev Team. It's ju he just has to say that because um, it was based on iPhone Dev Team's um, software so uh, yep we're gonna click OK to this message and um, as you can see my iPod is plugged in down the bottom right um, with the screen there so um, plug your iPod in and we're gonna click continue then um, we're gonna have to browse for the 3.0 firmware beta 3 so let's hit browse and um, I've just noticed that uh, this version of QuickPwn supports beta 2 and beta 3 so you can use both firmwares but um, as I said we're going to do the latest one beta 3 so uh, we're going to we place that on our desktop or wherever you placed it I'd recommend putting on your desktop now beta 3 is the bigger one of the two which is um, 230 megabytes beta 2 is 228 megabytes and um, its code is 7A280F um, so let's hit that one and then open now it's going to um, check that one for you and uh, green tick so uh, hit the blue arrow and um, because we're using an iPod touch first G we're going to uncheck activate and um, hit replace boot logos um, actually you don't have to hit replace boot logos but um, I've done this with beta 2 and they're pretty cool so um, I'm going to do that you don't have to as I said so um, you may have noticed also that it um, does not install Cydia it installs IC and um, it's similar to Cydia um, it's quite good actually, it's very quick, so um, yeah, it doesn't really bother me, it's, uh, it's decent enough. So um, let's hit the blue arrow again, and um, please ensure that your device is connected via USB before continuing. So um, 
next what we're going to do is click the blue arrow um, before I get started the, uh, the camera is uh, a little close so I'm going to move it back so you can see a little better there we go and um, now we're going to hit the blue arrow and um, it says please wait for the iPod to go into recovery mode there we go hold the home for five seconds then hold the power and home for ten seconds four three two one then release the power and keep holding the home and um, it says around 20, uh, 20 seconds to go but um, it doesn't really take that long so um, when the last step comes on then uh, you can let go of the home and uh, a purple screen should appear on your iPod now in uh, quick pwn you're going to see a few uh, green bars move across and your iPod is going to have downloading jailbreak data on it and uh, a little image um, according to Quickpwn so um, that's basically what it does from now on it says a series of messages and um, I'll come back to you when these messages have completed Quickpwn has now said that it is completed successfully and um, you, we're going to need to wait for the device to reboot in its newly modified state. So um, I'm going to leave um, Quickpwn open. And by the way, this uh, background is uh, pretty dodgy. Cockerel, anyway. <laughs> I'll just hide that up for you. There we go, that's better. Anyway, um, so now we have the uh, iPod um, it's going through a few steps flashing nor I'm gonna pause this video and come back to the uh, last step hopefully so um, see you in a minute okay so um, there we go you just saw it rebooting and uh, uh, completing those steps and it's now uh, booting with the custom bootlegger we'll uh, just wait for this to boot up and it actually may take quite a while again, so uh, I'll pause it. Oh, wow, that was quick. That was very quick, in fact. So um, let me go ahead and slide to unlock. And there we have... Oh, you can't see that. Um, IC and QuickPone. That's just a um, bookmark to their web uh, website so um, that is um, my iPod Touch first generation jailbroken on 3.0 beta 3 so um, I hope you like this video and um, please subscribe thanks